This podcast is something special. I'm being. Hello, my babies. This is Abba Kiel, and welcome to another video of Lostock Broadcasts. Today's broadcast, like I said last time, last video, was um, elements. Now I'm going to talk about myself, my childhood, or I should say my... I don't know who I really am. Yeah. So let's start off. Oh, if you don't know who I am, but as you know, my my name is that uh, But what made me think like that name was based on my real name, not a time ago. So, okay. I'm an Italian man, and I was born in California, Beverly Hills. Hills. I'm May 13, 1994. Well, I'm 29 years old, and I'm May 30 years old. So, I had two parents when I, when I was raised for 20 years. Yes, I mean, I only been in California for two, I lived in California for two years. Then I moved to New Jersey to be uh, being up with my uh, grandparents and cousins too. Yeah, and I've been living in New Jersey for, for, my, for my rest of my life, actually. So, I can't go to amateur school and high school. So, they did a good job with both of them. Then I met some good friends. And I, throughout the years, I met, I made three best friends, and they and they're still my best friend at all. So sometimes we, we spend time together or, or meet each other, so I think, so yeah. After I finished high school, I took I took a two year break, a, and decided to look for a job. Job. My first job was at the Lake Mark Country Club. I I worked there for three years, years, and then I decided to uh, start working there and find another job, which is I work at a horse farm. Um, and it was something we go and be so. I worked there for eight years, yes, and then and now I stopped working there. Yeah, cause right now I'm focusing on college, which I want to graduate. Age, I be this is my final year of being at the college of boys for my college design major. And then I go to, go to university next year. Not sure where, maybe Southern May, maybe somewhere else. We'll see. So yeah, maybe Southern May University. Anyway, okay. Uh, let me go back to that. So, like I said, I was raised my, with my parents. For twenty years, yes, I I have two siblings, a brother and a brother and a sister. I'm the oldest in the family. Anyway, and my parents um got a divorce. So basically, my parents got a divorce. I live alone with my mom. Actually, not I didn't choose my dad at all. He abandoned me. I met him actually. So basically, I was in the hospital for, for a long time. And I didn't get anything from me. I was on Lyme. It was actually Lyme disease. And so then, it's been, nine, it been uh, nine years since the divorce had happened, almost 10. And then, I think the 10th was on June. The wall. But yeah, it's been a long time 
and it's a very plain man and a family that really very hard this because it's just the three of us. Um, three of us or maybe sometimes four of us. Just the four of us, but mainly the three of us actually. My mom, myself, and my brother. So sometimes it's just my sister too, I know. Anyway, wait, I think that's actually the full setting. But that's actually it for a good view about myself. So, so let me talk about my hobbies. Hobbies that I do. Yeah. The first thing, thing that, I, that I actually discovered was actually uh, video games. My first console was actually uh, PlayStation 2. I got that actually on first day for my birthday. Today, I got two games in that, as that was from as a present. And those two games were Kenora 2 and Grand Turtle 3. Those two games were actually pretty good. I was, but I was more focused on Kenora 2 because it was a, um, an adventure game, even though it was built from uh, Jap Japanese, like Japan. That's so big. And I was really uh, into anime hey, as well. Well, as a kid, sometimes um, I would stay up late and watch anime. It is it's kind of hard to do that, but it's fine. I I think I like much more than uh, kids shows and than anime. As when I was a child, yeah. Anyway, anyway, when I got uh, a little older, the I got more games the other way. Okay, and I got. And those were Jack and Dexter, Jack 2, and Jack 3, and then also Wash and Clank. Clank. I, yes, I did fall into the, the console of, of the, Jack and Dexter, the Jack and Dexter games and the Wash and Clank games. Those two. Those were really good, uh, iconic games that I really like a lot. They were uh, amazing to, to play. Them and uh, had a great time playing them all, especially with my best friend and yeah, my, my first best friend here. He all of those kind of games too. So with some, a lot of times we'd be have a sleepover a couple of times and we play those yeah, those kind of games all night, all day long. Um, we try to beat them, yeah, even though they're kind of um, long and hard. What time do you mm, Yeah. What else? What else? When I got the PlayStation 3, the, I got into the realm of Assassin's Creed games, with, which actually was Assassin's Creed 1, then 2, 3, 4, yeah, 4 Black Flag, and so on. Um, I did have a great time playing all these types of games after all. But I say the only one that I did not like was actually Valhalla. Valhalla was way too long and um, quite complicated to to understand the story and what mission and the missions, like what every certain area you have to go to from the from these um, presses in Valhalla. But yeah, I didn't like that game at all. At all. And I did like the game after we, that I recorded last year, Mahjabha. That was actually pretty decent. Yeah. Thank God that I did complete it. I did complete it after all. Yeah, the Mahjabha was actually a good game to do so. And what else? Else. So when I got my 
Now, when I was playing with the PlayStation 3 console, oh, I got other games too. Uh, I did get the, I did get the game reveal um, for the PlayStation 3, which is actually Skyrim, uh, Elder Scrolls V. I had a great time playing that game a lot. I also got Destiny 1. Yes, I'm, I'm actually the OG of the, of the Destiny games. Games can be so. And I do play Destiny 2 sometimes. I not remember much. much. I, I did get the full, uh, full story of Destiny 1. Yeah. And it's quite different in Diesel, but Destiny 2 is a change. Change. I miss the old fashioned Destiny 2. Is, uh, it was actually a lot better and a lot of fun. Now they change it. It's all, it's all gone. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm quite sad that they actually got rid of it. Yeah. Anyway, wait. Uh, I didn't get my first PC until two thousand five when I discovered uh, my first game of, which was actually RuneScape. RuneScape was actually my first game ever playing. So then my best friend actually played a game, get played a account for me, and he and he gave me the name. So I. It comes with the, with the name of the three four five six. That was my use um, username before before I changed it to Zabrak. Like my own character. And throughout the years, years I think this is like my nineteenth, well, almost nineteenth year, almost, almost. That. We are eighteen years so far, but. I think for 18 and a half years, it was uh, 19 years on the April, right? April? I'm pretty sure it is. Anyway, I, I've been playing through that game a lot, uh, leveling up my skills, skills, building up my character to get stronger in combat and as a skiller too. New and content, yeah, and Learning about some new content and old content too. Too the game's actually pretty good so far. Oh, I wish they get updated soon. But I don't mind waiting until February for the RuneScape update for a world map, a world map in Diesel. Yeah, I don't mind about that. Okay. Hey, um. When I graduated high school, I got into the, the world of Dungeons and Dragons and, and I played Neverwinter, yeah, D and D Neverwinter. Played that game so for a, a very long time. I, it came out in 2013, so I played that game in 2013 when I was when I was done with high school. So I I created Kedda based on the class of Warlock. It was a dark elf warlock, I think it's a quarter of ground. ground. Um, so they, and we basically with my character was actually pretty powerful. Or I can conquer every dungeon on my own. I chose the subclass soul um soul collector. I used I collect so many souls from, from enemies and then keep myself up up and then living so yeah like I said I did conquer a lot of dungeons on my own I didn't need a partner or one of my friends to help me out out I used to collect the souls and then push them back against the, against the enemies enemies in the diamond hit hit my Kedda was actually very powerful back then, and that's so thing. When the new update came by, um, when you, which is actually, which you kept it to level 20, everything changed, 
change and I don't have a powerful um, shadow anymore. Uh, so it was um, stressful for me. But I'm going, but in the time being, when, being I did the series of Dungeons and Dragons and went to the board, uh, I did learn how, how it works to have a combat, a uh, new combat system attending to it. I don't play the game anymore, or it's actually uh, quite boring right now. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I still do way of Dungeons and Dragons, like, like, like they actually, when I hit fifth grade, which was 2005, I got into the way of making video games from on my own. I saw making video games from an engine called RPG Maker MV, I mean, yeah, RPG Maker engines, they're, um, I think it started with VX and then Ace and MZ and then MV, one or two, two or I did a switch. Anyway, a, yeah, created time games throughout the years, and it was time, very amazing making those time games. I mean, oh, some of the games are written by a book that I read, uh, read when I was in school, and sometimes, and some of those games are based on my characters. This, which I did talk about solely from for the past three years and a half and all. Oh. And I still do look the day back from them and when I get the chance. And that's all. But I do make other I don't make any more games right now. Now I just focus on the channel. Now which is which is the playing through Final Fantasy games, UK three and now Mars Bark. Oh, and then I do focus on Congress too, a very fun plan space in detail. So uh is that for the question for? I don't think so. The PlayStation 4 was actually the last console I got. I got uh, on my own. And it was actually for game to do so. I got into the stream of Kingdom of Hearts games when I got PlayStation 4. Well, I played all of them through and then also King Hearts 3. Now I'm over the best side, King Hearts 4, be a good one, in itself. So, and then I also did play the Darksiders game 2. 2, for so like I say, 1, 2, and 3. King Hearts Bastard is gonna be a fourth one. One, or not, I'm not sure. Or, well, I I think I did talk about everything else. Else, because the rest of the games for Profession 4 was actually the Assassin's Creed games. Games, so yeah. Then I got Profession 5. And you may know about the, you may know the kind of games are playing Profession 5. We saw, we saw the series last year. Uh, those are the games I'm playing on Profession 5. Um, and, well, I haven't talked about the, <laughs> no, that's actually it. Anyway, wait, that's actually pretty good. Uh, okay, now another hobby that I did discover was actually playing a instrument, and that was, so I started with the piano, oh, and then I started with, and after the piano, there, then I did the drums, I was born to sort of visiting. I did piano for a year. Took some piano lessons last Sunday. And then do it and then I I think it's like a Saturday morning where I played 
there's two songs on piano, and then aside the first two of the drums, when I when I went to middle school, we studied the drums for for three years, um, three years, six, seven, eight grade, grade, and then I did a fourth year when I did when I did high school for the, for the drums. Drums, yeah. And they were all pretty good in themselves. So I had a great time. Yeah. And and then I move on to and then I move on to a guitar or and bass. I did like bass guitar more than the guitar, like the the uh, lead guitar. That was mentioned that I did play a game called what uh, the name of it, but it was based on you playing as a guitar or a bass. It's up to you. You, I had a great time playing playing both of those instruments. Mm. Uh, out of all those instruments that they like, I like the most was actually the drums. Because I felt the rhythm of my of the beats and it's actually a lot a lot of fun. Sometimes I just play in my own foot beat with my thumb hands and do so. I like saving my legs too. And yeah. Uh drums were actually my thing. My thing. Oh, it was called Rock Band. Rock Band. You can actually do the, the, the game, you can play drums, guitar, and bass. So yeah, rock band. That's another good. Okay. Uh, luck. At the other hobby I did, like with actually dancing, sing. I did dancing on my own. Like I watched a couple of videos how to do some dancing. I think. I learned how to do break dancing. Uh, sometimes when I do, when I play just dance, I do I play hip hop songs. So I actually know how to do uh, dance hip hop. Uh, uh, I'm I'm learning about tap dance, yeah, tap dancing too, and uh, so they can do so. Oh. Uh, I'm more into break dancing than than hip hop or tapping thing. And it's it's a pretty good experience to be you now. So I said you so. Oh, so yeah. I'm thinking thing about yeah, about uh myself is Is my uh, I'm a collector actually. I'm a more like a geek, not a nerd. So the way my geekness is actually being a collector. I collect some things. Thing, so then I have a lot of collections. And the biggest one ever I had is actually the hats. I have I have baseball hats, has um, six hats, which is like California. Uh, I think I have it, maybe like one, is it one hat I have from college? Like a, a university hat. And I know I have a, like, one hat from Disney World. Yes, I did go to Disney World actually. I went to Disney World like 10 times. I throughout the years, um, my first one was actually going when I was like, I think it was like five years old or three years old. Three years old, I went to Disney World. Well, and then we went, and then we went there again, again because my brother was born. And we went there for the third time. My sister was born. Um, so yeah, pretty much, I went to Disney World like ten times at least. So and it was kind of fun. And yeah, now. 
I hope this one, this, like this new talk, can do you both actually um, very decent. Let's see. Let's see, but yeah, ha I did. I do have a collection of hats and these so. I and then a couple of uh, sports trophies. I do. I did. I did soccer for six years, basketball for a year, baseball for two years, years, and then and then I did like some running, which actually is cross country and track and field. Those were two years too. Two. So yeah, I did a lot of sports. Is that my way? Hey, another question I do have that's actually Legos. I collect a lot of Legos back then. Which which is actually bundles or 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 uh, Star Wars, yeah, Star Wars. And when I picked up this, when I got this Star Wars uh, Lego set, set I it was a, it was a X wings set. I didn't know how to build it, so I actually decided to. Rip off the, the instructions and create my own um, Lego design in Visa. It was actually really good. I had a great time making it, even though it took me like a week, five days actually, to do that. Because I had to choose what kind of pieces I wanted to do and what kind of uh, areas I want, that I want to uh, build. So like, I always go the way of, of being a architect back then. But I didn't want that to happen, and so I decided to do web design when I, when I decided to do college. Right. Before web design, I did actually want to do uh, cloning art, oh, cooking, and, and cooking was actually my information of of my dream job actually. So when I was going. When I finished high school, school I was going to go to cooking school, uh, yeah, going off school, and inspire my way of being a chef. Then I then actually built my own restaurant, aunt, and everything. It'd be like Italian restaurant, be so. Uh, but that didn't, that did not happen. So and and when I. Um, yeah, that Lyme disease, everything went down, and I had to change my career. So I chose graphic design, and I'm experienced graphic design to game design actually. But I'm not sure if I can do that at a secondary university. Let's see. I don't know. No, but yeah, I do. Sometimes I do collect Legos, sometimes I don't. Um, it's, it's different. And it's not me. But yeah, I think it's actually all the I know. And I know a little about me, and I know a lot about me actually. Really? So, um, yeah, there you go. That's actually pretty much it. Yeah. Let me see my, uh, what's the next topic I'm going to talk about? Okay, so the next topic is going to be Skyrim, the Elder Scrolls 5. Alright, for our broadcast. Alright, so that's actually pretty good. Yeah, I think I have not told you about it. Yeah. So, there you go. Uh, so, I'm ready to be here. Thank you so much for watching. And, if you comment, like, and subscribe, join T Ravens. You can follow me on my, all my social media accounts. accounts. And don't forget, the next topic will be diving out of the Source 5. So, I'll see you next time. Bye.